Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Arctic Wolf, model 287BH. It is their shortest and lightest bunkhouse, and this particular trailer comes in at 8,525 pounds as we see it equipped here today, and is 35 feet 2 inches in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and talk about some of the awesome features of this bunkhouse fifth wheel. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside and we'll start in the living and kitchen area. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new Arctic Wolf model 287BH. As you can see right here, we're looking at the super slide. And right here, you've got a nice sofa that it's a tri fold sleeper sofa, and that'll turn out into a very nice bed. Uh, they can sleep with two adults. And then right next to that, you have the big oversized U-shaped dinette. You can sleep uh, two people here or seat four to six people, depending on the size of folks uh, around this table to play cards or eat dinner or anything. Um, you notice the nice big windows. These have the zebra shades. And the cool thing about these shades here is they're a light filtering blind, so you can lend in as much or as little light as you want, um, which is pretty nice especially down here in Texas you can you know block out everything in the living area with these big windows uh, or you can lend in some natural light love that USB port right there in the slide out so many brands don't do that and if you think about it this is uh, this is a perfect place to have a USB port so you can plug in a laptop or phones you know whatever you want to put it that put there um, and Cherokee is really good about that anywhere you can sit or sleep you have USB ports or power outlets Coming over here, this is where your TV would go. Uh, this does come with a TV, we just don't have it mounted right now. It'll be a 40 inch and that is an optional piece of equipment. More USB and power and cable, satellite, all that good stuff. Uh, I love on their dinette and their entertainment center. Uh, this is all a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop. And you can see there it has the live or the simulated live edge counters, which is pretty cool. Down here you have another optional piece of equipment, that is the 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace. And then you've got some component shelves and then your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. That does have HDMI and USB ports, which is a great option if you want to add a gaming system or a Blu-ray player or anything. And if we look up top, you'll notice as part of that stereo system from Driven, you have a 200 watt subwoofer, which is really cool. Um, and then right there above that you have your 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach Q series air conditioner. Uh, we do have the second AC applied to that which I'll talk about here in a minute. You've got a ceiling fan and dual AC runs so you can see you have two sets of AC ducts. That's going to help cool off the, the trailer more efficiently. And you'll notice all the blue accent lights. You can turn all of those off if you want to. If we look down at the floor, you'll notice there's no heat ducts in the floor. It's all cabinet ducted heating. So the benefit of that in a bunkhouse is if you have uh, kids that like to spill things, like most kids do, they're not going to get Cheerios and crayons and all that good stuff down in the heating ducts, which is really nice. So we come around this way and kind of spin you back over here. Uh, you're going to have your a nice little coat rack, household and USB plugs there. Again, I just love this little touch. They could have done nothing with that wall, but it just looks great. And then over here, you're going to have your main control panel. So the cool thing about this, you can run your lights, your water pump and water heater on gas, your tank monitoring panel, your slide out and your awning. You can also Bluetooth to this to your phone so you can do all of your lights, your slide out, your awning the leveling system which I'll talk about later and the InSight rear vision observation camera which is pretty cool and then if you want to get all techy or even more techy you can do everything that this panel does from here as well which is pretty cool you're also gonna have your thermostat here for your main AC um, and then you've got your Lippert components one control hotspot prep uh, basically that's prepped for Wi-Fi or uh, 
4G LTE. And then this right here is a handy little voltage monitor as part of the juice pack solar option, which uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that outside. So overall, it's a pretty spacious floor plan. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for the living and kitchen area. Let's go ahead and we'll open up all this storage and we'll take a look at that. Cause I tell you for a 35 foot fifth wheel, this has a ton of storage. All right guys, so starting right next to the entry door, you have this huge walk-in pantry. Uh, plenty of storage space there. You've got some extra coat hooks here. And you'll notice if we step in here, it goes all the way to the ceiling and you have a handy light in there to uh, kind of help uh, you see everything, which is pretty cool. And for some reason, in case you didn't know where the pantry was, they go ahead and they tell you where it is. Um, all joking aside, um, it's got a good look to it. Coming over here, you have a nice chunk of storage above the entertainment center. You might need a two-stepper step ladder to get to that, but it's better than not having any storage at all. If we come this way a little bit, you'll notice good extra storage above the refrigerator. Notice how nice and deep that is. Um, I absolutely love that. And then right here, you're gonna have your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor fridge. This is a Canon fridge, which is basically the same thing as an Everchill. Um, how you get to 10.7 cubic feet is this does not run off of gas anymore. So they take all those components out and you're able to get a bigger fridge. That's a big reason why we opt in for these solar panels because um, that will run this fridge while you're going down the road or uh, off the grid. You're going to have a nice microwave here, hood range vent, uh, an extra little cabinetry space here. That's a pretty good size. I just wish they would put on a, uh, a strut to hold that up so you can get to that a little easier. And if you appreciate the uh, me pointing out things that I don't like about campers, because um, I could just say, oh yeah, this is the greatest camper ever, and blah, 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 blah. Um, but that wouldn't be doing the campers enough justice because there's, you know, there's little things that you'll pick up uh, that you don't necessarily like. But if you appreciate that, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below and uh, follow along with me uh, through all these new and used campers we get. You're going to get a three burner cooktop with the fold up glass cover. And right here, you're gonna have a, a uh, cutting board splash, slash backsplash. Apparently I can't talk today either. Down here, you've got an oven in case you wanna do some baking. And in case you were wondering, it does have the blue lights. Pots and pans drawer down below. And a small little cabinet uh, you could use for something. Three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer, guided drawers. I love that they do the silverware divider on top. And then you have some easy reach outlets and USB ports in here, which is really nice. The outlet uh, is actually gonna be up there, but at least they give you one that's easy to get to. And then right here, you have a huge amount of storage space that wraps all the way around for some of your cups, bowls, plates, things of that sort. And then lastly, underneath the dinette, you'll have two of these big 40 inch dinette drawers. These things are awesome. Um, they're huge. You can put pots and pans there, whatever you want to use them for. And then I knew I was going to forget to do this. Oops. Apparently I'm running into stuff because I'm not paying attention. Um, but you have this nice farm style sink. Uh, press membrane th thermal foil style countertops. Apologize, I'm losing my train of thought. It's 99 degrees in this camper today. Uh, Spring-loaded industrial, st yeah, industrial style faucet, and then you have a uh, hand sanitizing station, which is pretty nice. Nice little window right there too. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen area. Let's go ahead and we'll jump back to the bunk room and we'll take a look at some of the features there. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, so stepping back into the bunk room, you'll notice you have a nice solid door to uh, separate everything off. You're going to have two, I call them queen size beds, but they're a little smaller than a queen. Uh, they're 74 inch long by about 54 inches wide. 
You're also going to have a household and USB outlet on both top and bottom bunks. 300 pound weight capacity on the top bunk. A uh, little window over there. You've got AC and heat back here. Notice they're giving you a ladder too. That's so nice. So many brands don't do that. You're also going to have a good amount of storage down there for some of duffel bags and things. Emergency egress window. There's a TV backer uh, up here with the appropriate connections up top. You can also see that you have a ton of hanging closet space and so many bunk houses don't put a place to hang the kids clothes. And that drives me crazy whenever they don't have something like this. This, this makes so much sense. And then down here you have a couple of shelf spaces for toys, games, extra clothes, bedding, whatever you want to put there. Um, or more importantly, whatever the kids want to put there, which is really nice. And again, so many brands don't do that. And then you have a handy little uh, light switch right there. So whenever it's time to go to bed, the you know mom and dad can walk by and hit the lights off. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the bunk room. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the master bathroom. And I tell you, it's a very good bathroom for a smaller fifth wheel. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, so stepping into the master bathroom. First thing, you have plenty of room around the toilet. That is a porcelain foot flush lever toilet, by the way. You're going to have a nice barn-style pocket door to separate everything off. I love this hardware up here, too. You're also going to have a nice Max Air Fantastic vent fan. AC and heat in the bathroom. Skylight here above the 30 by 36 inch shower. Uh, and this does have the slow close shower door. That is really cool. Uh, it squeegees itself off so you don't have any mold or mildew or anything on your shower curtain. Tons of linen closet space and so many smaller fifth wheels I feel don't have very good bathroom storage. This one does. And you've got a nice little shelf here for some other things that you want to put there. Uh, medicine cabinet for all of your medicines. You do have a mirror. Motion sensor light right there. GFI protected outlet. You're also going to have a huge sink. Press membrane thermal foil style countertops. And then in here you're going to have a little bit of storage for a small bathroom trash can. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the master bathroom. Let's go ahead and we'll jump forward a little bit and we'll take a look at the master bedroom. All right, guys, so stepping into the master bedroom, first thing I want to talk about, you have a 60 by 80 true queen size bed. Um, this is so nice. It's not a camper queen or anything. Uh, back over here, you do have household and USB outlets with pretty good little nightstands for CPAP machines and things of that sort. You've got cabinetry on both sides of the bed, extra reading lights that I just always forget to turn on. This is where your second 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach Q series air conditioner would go. And here is a look inside one of those cabinets. You're also going to have a handy drawer on both sides of the bed. There is storage underneath the bed. Cross breeze windows on both sides. And then right here you have a ton of hanging space, place to put shoes down there underneath that. And then right here you can mount a small TV and you've got the appropriate connections. And then right over here, you're going to have your second thermostat as well as some lighting controls, which is really nice. You can have AC and heat in here, storage under the bed, um, it, and there's good head, right, head height. I'm about 6'2". Yes, I have to kind of duck my head a little bit but it's not as bad as some fifth wheels that I've been in and I love this shelf up here uh, again you can turn that blue light off if you want to but overall it's a pretty good master bath or not master bathroom we've already looked at that master bedroom let's go ahead now since we're finished with the inside we'll circle back around the outside show you all the ins and the outs and we'll see what you think let's go take a look all right guys we're on the outside of this brand new 2021 and a half arctic wolf model 287 bh as you can see up here, you have a nice fiberglass front cap. There are some LED lights that I just don't have turned on because you can't really see them. Uh, you're going to have your pin box down here. Down here you have a storage compartment, and I think this is unlocked. We'll find out here shortly. No, it is not. But that in there is your battery box and spare tire. You're also going to have your docking light switch as well as your automatic leveling controls. Right here. 
is going to be your propane. So you'll have one on each side, two 20 pound tanks. There's some storage. We'll take a look at that from the other side. You're gonna have a nice motion sensor light. Uh, you're also gonna have your furnace, city water connection, black tank flush, fresh water, city water, and or, uh, cable and satellite connections right there as well. As we come around this side, it's kind of tight over here, but uh, you're gonna have one of your dumps. You also have one up top there. You're also going to have a your 50 amp service and your outside shower right here. If we take a look underneath, and hopefully I don't hurt myself getting down here, but as you can see, you have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. That's forced air heated, which is really nice. Um, and then back here, and again, this is gonna be a little briefer than normal just because it is so hot today. It's about 102 in the shade right now. You've got your flip down cargo rack. That is good for 250 pounds. You are prepped for a ladder. Ladders are no longer an option. Um, so if you want a ladder, uh, you can do that aftermarket. And then up top there, you can see you have a backup camera already installed from the factory. Coming around over to this side, you have your six gallon gas electric hot water heater. Uh, that is with DSI spark ignition. And then you've got some storage. This one has a huge storage compartment, plenty of room for some extra grills, things like that, you know, patio chairs, whatever. These are gonna be magnetic holdbacks and they have slam latches, which is really nice. Right here's your outside kitchen, but we'll, before we get to that, you have your power awning. There is LED lights for that. And then I'll show you where the outside speakers are here in just a minute. But over here, you're gonna have a two burner cooktop, little dump sink, uh, an ice maker, electrical outlets in there. And then you're also gonna have a refrigerator, which is really nice. That is a 110 powered fridge only. So just keep that in mind. And then right here, maybe, you have a spray port uh, that's cold water only, but again, you still have that outside shower on the other side. Down here, you're gonna have your rear jacks for your auto leveling. Auto leveling, apparently I can't talk today. Good looking aluminum wheels and tires. These have the tire pressure monitoring stem caps. So if it's green, you're good. If it's red, you're not. So that's something uh, that's really nice. Right here, you're gonna have your entry door. So you've got your exterior large assist handle. You're also gonna have your more ride step above steps. These will flip up inside the door and they have the adjustable feet. And then if we look up top here, you can see that you do have your exterior speakers. Coming over here, this is so you can run an outside TV if you want to. There's cable and satellite hookups in there. And then right here is your pass-through storage. You'll notice all the aluminum framing. Um, and I always forget about this. This is the leash latch, which is pretty cool. You're gonna have dual motion sensor lights uh, and plenty of storage, which is a, something a lot of people really like. Uh, you're gonna have slam latches again. And then right here's your other propane tank. So there are two saddle tanks. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the exterior of the 287BH by Arctic Wolf. If you're interested in this fifth wheel and you would like pricing or and availability, or if you have any other questions, feel free to either give me a call at 806-335-2336. You can also leave a comment down below, or you can email me at contact at custom-rv.com. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. Remember, at Custom RV, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big dealers. And also, we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And we'll talk to you again very soon.